Top of the news this evening is speculation concerning the real facts behind the Department of Health announcement about a radioactive spill supposed to have occurred yesterday at the state nuclear plant. Information from an official source, which reached our newsroom this afternoon, stresses the seriousness of the situation. <laughs> Miller, something very serious has happened at the airport. But until we conclude our investigation and take the necessary countermeasures, nothing is going to leak out. Nothing. Last night I had this nightmare. It was all about my leg. It was a big explosion. It was right here in the hospital. I got hit. My leg got cut off. Well, we don't have to worry over that any longer. Jim, your leg's going to be just fine. Yes? Down here right away. Now. This individual and others like him have been subjected to strong doses of atomic radiation, which increase their physical capacities beyond the norm. In short, it's a kind of a Superman. <laughs> This is Channel 5, TV station. We're being attacked. For God's sakes, send somebody fast. The victims of these creatures are contaminated, even if they only suffer minor injuries. Then they can reproduce themselves, Colonel, say, indefinitely? We'll be completely on our own. We'll simply have to declare a state of emergency ourselves or before we all become contaminated, just like them. It's frightening. How could a thing like this happen? It's part of the vital cycle of the human race. Create and obliterate until we destroy ourselves. <laughs> Special commando units positioned at all strategic points in and around the city. Public buildings, offices and businesses alike have been ravaged. And damage is estimated in the hundreds of thousands. Lives have been lost, with the end still not in sight. My God, Sheila, what's going on? I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> Oh, I don't want us to die. They're all around us, everywhere, everywhere! No! God help us all.